stakeholders who had earlier endorsed me for the governorship election because of our performance in office have walked their talk. To all of you, including but not limited to the youths, the women, the traders, transport association, all other stakeholders, particularly emo workers through their different unions, such as the Nigerian Labor Congress, the Nigerian Union of Teachers, the Nigerian Union of Pensioners, and the Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees, and so many other associations, I say thank you very much indeed. I sincerely appreciate all of you. You've made me proud indeed. It is now my turn to keep my own side of the bargain. On that note, I wish to repeat my earlier covenant with God and the Imo people. I will not let Imo people down. I will serve with utmost honesty and the fear of God. Let me be clear. Your message to me through your overwhelming endorsements is that you appreciate what I have done in office so far and you want me to do even more. I heard you loud and clear. It is an invitation to do more and to do better. And that is exactly what I will do. I do not take this victory lightly. I am aware of your desires and expectations. In this regard, let me reassure you that I will continue to deliver the dividends of democracy to Imo people under our three R mantra of reconstruction, rehabilitation, and recovery. I will continue to provide a transparent, accountable, and transformative leadership to Imo people. I will continue to provide an inclusive platform for all Imo people to have a say on how they are governed. These are my promises, and I believe this was why you voted for me. And I can assure you, I will keep to the promises. In a democratic contest such as the one of last Saturday, only one person will emerge victorious. Since it has pleased God and the Imo people to confer that honor and privilege on me, I congratulate and commiserate with my brothers who contested the election with me. They did not lose, but the Imo people won. This collective victory is for the good of the people and the progress of our states. I therefore call on all of them to join hands with me to continue to build the emo of our collective dreams. I will not discriminate. I will want to work with all of us, both those who contested the election, who did not make it, through this medium, I'm inviting them to come up with their good ideas, join hands with me so that we can serve Imo people. Let me express my profound gratitude to Imo people who trooped out in their thousands to cast their votes and made this a true democratic contest. I'm truly proud of you all. I'm immensely grateful to agents of my party, All Progressive Congress, across the 305 wards in the state, who stood firm in the defense of our votes. You have made me proud. I also acknowledge my indebtedness to all the political appointees who campaigned for me and our party, and who also mobilized voters and protected their votes on the day of the election. I want to extend my profound gratitude to the religious leaders in the state 
for their relentless and fervent prayers for peace, and particularly for peaceful elections, which they prayed for. It is also to your credit that you initiated the Charter of Equity, which was designed to reduce tension and acrimony in governorship elections in the state. In the same vein, I thank the Elders Council for adopting the Charter of Equity document wholeheartedly and for tirelessly marketing it to our people in the 27 local government areas of the state. There is no doubt whatsoever that your efforts paid off handsomely, translating to the historic outcome of the election. The election was relatively free and fair, and to the glory of God, I judged almost the best among the three states in this country. I also wish to thank our traditional rulers for all their prayers for the peaceful conduct of the election. I'm sincerely grateful to you, our royal fathers. For Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, the security agencies, and others who saw to it that the election was free, peaceful, free, fair, and credible. You are the true heroes of the election and worthy defenders of our democracy. I thank you all. Once again, I am grateful to everyone who has made this victory possible. Please continue to hold our state in your prayers as we look forward to better days ahead. To God be the glory. Thank you and may God bless all of us. Monkey. Who is that monkey there? Can you moderate? Any question? May God bless you. Thank you. Welcome back from the live telecast. We'll now continue with our regular programs. Stay tuned. In uh, FIFA and CAF, so my thanks go to Patrice Motsepe, his entire team, our FIFA team as well, who has contributed to this. And uh, we can see football brings joy, brings happiness, but uh, we've seen on the field of play as well, brings a lot of quality uh, for Africa and for the world. All right, David Amani, former AIMBA defender, is live on the program now. Uh, David, what do you make of the African Football League? Um, it's been won by Mamelo de Sundowns, and you look at the atmosphere in that final between Mamelo de Sundowns and Wydad Casablanca. It just looked like a CAF Champions League final. Very similar. Perhaps the only difference here is the fact that you're winning more money in the African Football League than when uh, you win the CAF Champions League. Uh, I promise time today. Uh, good evening once again. I the 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 the, the, the African League Cup that uh, Baladi Sandra have just won is as uh, uh, important to them as uh, winning the CAF uh, Champions League. And then of course you you cannot take that away from the fact that uh, uh, the stadium was uh, electrifying after they scored that second goal. Uh, they had to jubilate so much, jumping on each other. You know, it was really.